Police. Well, members of the Bus Drivers Union are voting right now on a new contract offer. Jermont Terry live with that story this afternoon. Jermont. Steve, um, union members spent the day voting at various transit substations like this one all day. But if these signs out front are a clue of how the vote will go, then we are looking at a no to the latest contract. Today is the first time Milwaukee County Transit Union workers have had a chance to vote on a contract since the summer strike. MCTS and the Bus Drivers Union have been in back and forth talks with a federal mediator for several months. MCTS believes this latest deal, which includes a slight pay rate, and a fair health care plan is a good deal, but the union is upset with the 45 part-time workers included in the new contract. The union argues it's the transit system's way to phase out full-time workers. Why are you hiring part-timers? Is, is that the biggest thing at this point? It's all about the part-timers? That's probably, I would say, at least 70 to 80 percent of it. So the 45 part-time operators that we're proposing is actually less than James Macon said he would uh, accept over the summer. He was quoted in the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel saying so. And the contention that they could work unlimited hours is just false. All he had to do was sign a piece of paper, say they willing to go to arbitration, and this conversation be over with. So the voting continues tonight until 7 o'clock. We will have the results on Live at 10. But for riders who depend on the Milwaukee County transit system, they want to know if a vote is, if they vote no tonight, will there be another strike? I should point out, I talked to the union president. He says there's no indication right now that a no vote will result in another strike. So that is good news, but we'll have the results on Live at 10. For now, reporting live at 35th and Fond du Lac, Jermont Terry, today's TMJ4. We'll be watching, Jermont. Thanks.